Growing up, Avatar was one of my favorite shows to watch, and I was so excited when I found out it was coming to Netflix so I could watch it again. While re-watching the series, I thought of the idea of trying to make Katara's necklace, and it ended up turning out pretty good, so I thought it would be a good idea to share it with you guys. First, you're going to need to get the symbol found in Katara's necklace and print it out on paper. You can either find it online or draw it yourself using something like Illustrator or Procreate. Once you have the symbol, you're going to want to match it to the size of the pendant. I put a link in the description for the pendants that I'm using if you want to use the exact same ones. Once you have it matched to the size of the pendant, you can go and cut it out or use a hole punch. Next, go ahead and wipe down the clear domes to make sure nothing gets stuck between the dome and the paper. Now you're going to add a little bit of Mod Podge and place it on top. Personally, I like using a toothpick because it's easy to get just a little bit. Now push down the dome onto the paper and spread out the Mod Podge and get out all of the bubbles. You can smooth out the back side if you need to. Once that is dry, add more Mod Podge to the back of the paper. You're going to add a couple of layers which are going to protect the paper from the glue and keep the glue from discoloring the paper. While you're waiting for that to dry, go ahead and get the rest of the necklace ready. To start, you're going to measure your neck and then cut the ribbon to that size. You don't need extra space because we'll be adding that later. Next, you're going to add end pieces. These are pretty easy to add. You just want to make sure that the ribbon is in all the way and it is straight. Sometimes closing the end piece a little bit before you put the ribbon in can make it a lot easier. Once the ribbon is in place, you just need some pliers to clamp down the end piece. Once the end pieces are on, you can go ahead and add a clip.
The kit also comes with chains like this one to make the necklace longer if you'd like. Next you're going to add a dab of glue to the back of the paper. Use the toothpick to spread the glue around so there's a thin layer across the entire back side. Next you're going to press the dome into the pendant. When doing this, make sure everything's aligned first before pushing down. Once you push down, it's hard to adjust. Once you have it in the right position, go ahead and push down firmly and make sure it's completely flat. Next we're going to be sewing the pendant onto the ribbon. To do this, you're going to first need to find the middle of the ribbon and where you want the pendant to be placed. To do this, start through the back side of the ribbon and taking the thread through the loop at the top of the pendant. Then take the thread through the ribbon and tie two to three knots on the back side. Make sure the knots you're tying are tight so the pendant isn't too loose. Repeat this process two to three times. Now you can go ahead and cut off the extra string. Then you can add a dab of hot glue to protect the extra string on the back. If you don't feel like making the necklace but still want one, you can find a link in the description below where you can buy one that I've made so it will be the exact same one as the one in this video. If you do want to make one and make it look exactly like this, I put links to all the materials I used in the description as well.